Hello there everybody, my name is Eep and welcome to my first video. Actually, technically it is my second video, but my first video was so bad that I have deleted it. So this is technically going to be officially called my first video on YouTube. Today, you'll notice if you read the title of the video, I will be attempting the one layer challenge. Which, if you don't know, though you probably do know, it's a challenge where I just only draw one layer on the line. Uh, the program I'm using is Clip Studio Paint, in case you are wondering. So I actually really like how this drawing turned out. Um, it really made me go outside my comfort zone a little with how I colored and shaded. Because, like, shading especially because I couldn't use uh, multiply layers. Uh, and I actually included the background. I rarely include backgrounds, but I did because I thought it would bring the piece together more with, like, kind of what I was trying to do. And I think it looks really cool. So basically what I did, my idea, was that I would have my, like, I had my thing in layers. Like, like not actual layers, but I made it kind of look like there were layers. Like, the very bottom of the bottom of the drawing, you can see it now, looks like a sketch layer, and I leave it like that. And then it kind of keeps going up. So after that, the second layer is just black and white line art. And then there's some coloring, and then there is some shading. So, and kind of the same goes for the background. That's why I included the background. Like, it's a sketch background, background of line art, color, color background, and then background of, like, some so shading. I don't know. I think I thought it looked really cool and kind of got the idea across. Maybe, sort of. It it looked cool. That that's the point of art to look cool, and I thought it fit the challenge, so I did it. So as you can see here right now, I am attempting to color in the thing. I use a texture brush because that's what I usually do. And that was a mistake, because it'll make, like, coloring in with no white spaces between the lines difficult. And since, what I, and since like, as I told you, I'm kind of making this look like there's layers, I had to kind of cut out a section where there would be no, to, like, for it to be a section. Like, it, it's hard to explain, but you can, you watch me do it, you know what I'm saying. So I also have to pick color you know, color scheme, whatnot, I, I had, I have loose, a loose line art style, uh, I think it looks nice, so I included my loose line art style in this challenge, and very clearly, it did a great for me, coloring wise, I, I tried, I didn't want to do anything different or stray from my usual style, just because I was doing this challenge, and it caused some problems with, again, how I trying to add the colors because I just don't usually include a like a what's it called uh together lines closed lines there we go that's what I'm trying to say and I had to totally get rid of all the hair thingies and then I added them back because it was just easier that way uh, I added highlights and sweater strings all right and then oh yeah this is the background where i kind of had to do the same thing where i kind of cut that part off since i was going to crop the canvas i i like didn't go the entire way because there would be no point in doing that i cleaned up some lines and then we got oh yeah and i kind of went for sort of an abstract background like i said i know i said i went for a background but then it really commit to it fully because I don't like backgrounds. It's kind of just a sky, a pink sky with pink clouds and a sun and some birds that aren't really birds. Y you'll see. Okay, so now I'm trying to add shading where I mix a shading color I use a lot with the skin tone and you'll see it did not really work out. So then I just tried the normal, like, the other way, where I just kind of added a different color to my thing, and it worked. And I'm only doing shading to the, like, the very top bit, not, like, the sweater or the neck or the lower part of the 
face or anything because again the layers it's uh, I'm gonna repeat this again the sketch the sketch the line art the color and then the shading and I add in some highlights at the end I don't usually add highlights but like but I did and uh, this is me adding more to the background I basically finished the character by now because I draw characters a lot, so I finished it fast, and most of the rest of this is just me trying to fill in the background so that it looked cool, like, you know, brought the piece together and all that, what a background is kind of supposed to do, I think. I'm trying to add some soft shading, but it isn't working out, I should have done that before I added the clouds to the sun, but I didn't feel like deleting them, so they're here to stay, and I trying to I trying to crop the canvas but I had to move this thing to the center so I just kind of messed around with the proportions and tried to get the right proportions and then I had to go back to get rid of the stupid purple soft shading in the sky because it looks hideous and then redo the proportions that I kind of forgot but kind of remembered center the thing again and then from then on, I just kind of work on the background, trying to make it more backgroundy. I considered adding line art, and then decided that looked terrible, so I didn't go with it. And I'm okay. So this cloud kind of looks like a car, and it's funny to me, so it stays like that. And this cloud just looks like a cloud. The rest of the clouds just look like clouds because they are clouds. And this one kind of goes into the line art section. This will actually won't have line art, but it kind of will. It'll be confusing. You'll have to look at it to see what I mean. I can't explain it. And the sun, it's sunny. Uh, yeah, that's a that's an adjective I am now going to use to describe suns. They are sunny. Okay, I do add some shading to like everything here. Like, again, it's just kind of some basic show, cell shading. And, you know, how cell shading works, I'm assuming you do. That's probably why you're here. I do add shading to this cloud, and then I realize it's actually in the, no sh in the coloring only zone. So I eliminate the shading from that cloud. And I add some more clouds. This one is perfectly in between the shading and no shading zone. And then I add those cartoony birds that are just two lines, like that. In the lightest color, like on the page, other than white, obviously. And I add some shading, which is just a cloud color, because I didn't want to go around making another color, because I was... Yeah, and here is me trying to add the quote-unquote line art, which is basically, like, I guess the final bit to it or something. And then I, I guess, add uh, the actual, like, sketch, I guess, which is just, it's in darker color. I don't know, I guess this is how people draw backgrounds that are abstract, you know, line art or something. Clearly something I've never done. And since there's so much room at the top, I didn't want to crop the photo again. I just added even more clouds because I could. And more birds. I didn't add more suns though, because that would be weird. This isn't like a fantasy world where there are 10 million suns. Obviously, these clouds all get shading because they're above the shade line. And I add a little bit more detail. Uh, and kind of mess around with everything. And then I just add a heart, because I like hearts, because they're happy and make you feel good. I don't know, she's happy, and she likes people. Mm -hmm. And then I just add some highlights, because I thought it would look cool, and I was just really liking how the piece was turning out. And then I'm done. This is the final piece. I really hope you guys like it. I really like it. I am definitely really happy with it. It's kind of like embodies the whole like 
kind of has layers, which is kind of the opposite of the one layer challenge, which I personally thought was cool. And the, with the shading and coloring bit, I did definitely go kind of outside my comfort zone. And of course, since I never had backgrounds, I definitely went outside my comfort zone with that part. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe consider liking, subscribing, commenting, tell me how you can tell me how bad I am at art, how annoying my voice is, I don't care. Uh, or you can tell me that my voice isn't annoying and that my art is okay. Uh, just, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you liked the video and the drawing and have a great day. Bye!